Dolly Tribe. Hello, hello, hello. I am Evie. Got some Barbies here today for you. Sunshine. And I want to say hello to all my Dolly Tribe. Um, I know it's been about a week since I posted the video. I was a little ill. So, uh, nothing serious, but I was a little ill. So, I needed to recuperate from that. But I am back now. So, I have three dolls for us to look at today. Two are Barbie fashionistas, and one is a Barbie career doll. So, I can't wait to open them and discuss them. Let's just talk about them and see where this all goes. So, the first one I am going to open up today is this cute gentleman right here. He is Barbie Fashionista 184 from the old wave, not the new wave that just came out with the fabulous dolls. Let's see who's on the back. This is the wave he came from. Okay, so this is an older wave. I've had him for quite some time, but I just haven't got into opening anything, so there's that okay I have some scissors now so let me get him open all right now I got this guy open so I'm gonna open these new pouches like this which I love these pouches I put so much stuff in them here he is on the little plastic thing let's see how many tabs he has looks like he only has one in the center here so I am going to remove that Okay, here we have him. Here he is. And let's show him from the back far away. Okay, so let's get up close and personal with this guy. He has these really cute shoes on. You know, they're not really cute, but they have cute shoes on. I'm just so used to saying really cute. He has some, you know, simple shoes on. They're very common shoes. Not bad. Here is the bottom of those. It says Ken on the bottom. He has some like, I don't even know what you call these pants. Look, um, I don't know what you call these Capri pants or something. I don't know. But um, they're like this orange color. Um, kind of supposed to be like faux denim or something. And they're supposed to be cuffed at the bottom. There is the Velcro in the back. This guy has been out for some time, so... I don't want to go too in depth about it. He has this Hawaiian type shirt on, which for a guy his age, I would think that he probably wouldn't really be wearing these. I mean, I do know that younger guys can wear these if they want to, but these are usually reserved for the older gentleman. One that's probably retired to some tropical island or just retired wherever they live. Um, there is a Velcro right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can pull it up for you. There is a Velcro. And then here is his darling cute face. Isn't he so handsome? He's really just a handsome little guy. He's super duper handsome. I don't know what this face mold is. It's fairly new. But it is really cute. And I like his molded hair. It has a lot of dimension to it. So... I don't know what his name is going to be yet, but he's definitely a cutie and he's a keeper in any Fashionista Collector's um, collection. So let's see if I can sit him right here without the background falling. All right, we're going to move into our second doll I'm going to look at, which is another Fashionista. And before I do that, Dolly Tribe, how are you doing? I hope your life is going just fine or even fantastic. Nothing below just fine, okay? So that's what I'm hoping for you all. Um, I hope all the positivity is coming your way. I hope we're all working and hustling and, you know, trying to make the best for our lives. Let's get into the next fashionista. Now, this fashionista, I do believe she is from the newest wave. This is Barbie Fashionista 188. This is her. And in her line, we have different dolls here. The can I just showed you is, they usually put the previous line in, the previous wave in with the new mix. So I still want this guy right here, 193. 
and I still want 188. Um, all the rest of them I either have or I'm not really interested in. Um, this doll was really cute. She has the Indeedly face mold, but um, I just wasn't interested. And this one, um, I thought I was interested, and then I was like, I'm not interested. So uh, the only ones I want now is 193 and 188. So let me get her out of her package. So here is 186. She has, let's see how many things she has holding her down. She has one at the waist, and then we have some um, some clear elastics right here to hold her hair in place, and then we have one of the kajinkis that's right here, which I really hate. I don't know why they put them in there. Oh Lord, and I got a doll. Oh Lord, and I got a doll that, this is what's wrong with her. Like her neck peg isn't one here all the way or something. Or either somebody got her and put her back. I don't know. The packaging did not look disturbed. Her head just needs to be pressed down. So here is this doll. Fashionista 186. And she's super cute. She has the June face mold. You see it? She's slightly pixelated, but I love the color of her lipstick. This is a lipstick I know I would wear. I would definitely wear this lipstick. I'm trying to show you her eyes without the glare on it that comes with these pixelation dolls. I would think that they've had so much blowback from the pixelation that they just wouldn't use it anymore, but they still like to use it. She has a very beautiful screening. It's just that the pixelation that they used is, is too much, but People have said that you can use um, the Matte Mod Podge to remove, reduce some of the shine that comes with these kind of dolls. Um, here is the back of her outfit. It Velcros right here in the back. And the pattern is not on this side, but it's all made of equal material. Get down, uh, Albus. Get down, Albus. Albus always wants to be with me whatever I do. Anyway, and she has on some very, you know, common sneakers. I really don't like that. Please give our curvy girl something besides sneakers. I'm a plus size person. I wasn't most of my life, but in the last five or six years, I have been a plus size person. So me being a plus size person, which I am working out, I've been working out um five days out of the week for three weeks three and a half weeks now so i can tell differences with my workouts but anyway um plus size people just don't sit around and wear tennis shoes all the time you know we're heavier people though that doesn't mean tennis shoes are just our go-to like we wear wedges we wear espadrilles we wear heels we wear stilettos we wear um uh, you know plus size people wear mules we wear flip-flops we wear gladiator sandals we wear um ballet flats we wear kitten heels we wear all these different kind of shoes so it really baffles me why mattel won't make us really cute shoes this doll's hair is done very poorly I don't know if somebody just messed this doll up and then just sent her back or if this was a, you know, a manufacturer defect. I mean, look at that. This is kind of why I don't like dolls with braids. I'm really not a braids person. I've never worn a bunch of braids in my life. Um, I think they look beautiful on other people and things like that. But as far as my dolls, I really don't like my dolls having braids. That's just, that's just the real. Um, but I think they look beautiful on a lot of different people. Um, I do want to try it at some point, but I just, it's, it's hard for me to want to get into it because I don't like my hair restricted in any way. I really don't even like ponytails that much. I just like my hair down and free. <laughs> I don't like it restrained in any way. So I don't know. She has these cute, um, well, they're not cute. They're okay. A little gold. Um, I'm trying to get rid of saying cute for everything. But she has these really, um, they're decent earrings. 
wish it would have been more metallic but you know they're cute and this says love on the front of it i think these prints are kind of this kind of style is kind of going out at least in my mind frame so i really wish they quit putting stuff like love and all that kind of stuff on here because i really think the style is going out i do like the dress though this is something this is a shape i probably would wear in a dress if it was just pink maybe with stripes or something or just have love going across here or something just something kind of more simplistic i think would work better her lips are shining so much better in the camera than they do in real life it picked the camera this camera is picking up just the most beautiful elements of her lips i can't get over it the june face mold has really been having some great screenings lately it really has but let's move on from the from this fashionista 186 okay now this doll is the finale and some of you may already understand why she's the finale but this is a barbie career doll and there's the little artistic artwork right there barbie you can be anything she is a doctor apparently in other languages it's doctora doctor and medical <laughs> hey fellas 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 yes take it over there thank you it says Doctors are licensed health professionals who are trained to diagnose and treat patients. They work in collaboration with a team of physicians. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> they work in collaboration with a team of physician assistants, registered nurses, and medical staff to maintain the overall well-being of their patients. Do you like caring for others while working with a team? You can be a doctor. So that's a good little snippet. And then they have it in probably Spanish and then French. And then I don't know, what would that be? What's the next one? Uh, Portuguese or something? I don't know. But here are some other dolls that are in the line. Here is the doll here that we're about to open. So here she is one more time, just in her package. And now I'm going to get her out. What? I just pulled off the back. She has no things on her, except maybe like a clear elastic. Oh my gosh, like this is a first in history. And then she just like, she just comes right on out like this. This is the easiest unboxing I've ever done, I think. <laughs> I'd have to go back to really find that out, but I think this is the easiest boxing of all, of all time on my channel. So, here she is from behind. I mean, from um, the full body picture of her. And then here is the back. She has on a doctor's coat and then she has on a dress underneath and her hair is uh, wrapped in this um, clear elastic band. I think it's only just one, it may be two. And then she has these shoes here. And these shoes are not bad. I've seen medical professionals wear something of this nature. And at the bottom, it has the Barbie vintage ponytail logo. And these are like not even kitten heels. These are just ballet flats with like a Mary Jane feel to them. Um, it's an okay color pink. Um, I don't know. I just would have, I don't know what other color I would have preferred, but um, let me see if I can get this uh, elastic off. Here is her lab coat. As you can see, here's her lab coat. And it's just like any other lab coat if you've gotten a Barbie Career doll before. It's very similar to all the rest. I'm going to take it off now. And because uh, this doll has been out for a while too. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. But there is pink stitching lining the coat um you know it's decent construction and now here she is she has a floral dress on in this dress velcros in the back right here it's, you know pretty cute dress and uh she has an elastic band that goes across right below her bosom and then it goes across the neck to keep this stethoscope I always have to say that word very slowly. Stethoscope in place. So now I'm going to remove that. So here is the stethoscope. And it's, you know, that's okay. 
It has the little ear pods to put in so they can listen to your heart. It has the Barbie Vintage Ponytail logo right there on that part of it. And then it's the heart. It's the front and the back is a heart shape to where they listen to your heart. I've never seen that in a real medical profession, but I guess um, maybe in the pediatrics department, maybe they have one, but I've never seen that when I was a kid. <laughs> They probably didn't have those. So here she is without the steth stethoscope on the front and around her neck. She's a dark chocolatey um, Barbie, which means that she would be able to fit on the yoga made to move Barbie that had the floral, the lavender floral pants with the dark hair, almost exactly like her hair. Um, or she could fit the made to move hiker doll um, or I believe also she could fit the BMR 1959, the first wave, the dark skin plus size doll body. That's what my suggestions is. I haven't matched them, but just by the look of her, that's what I believe that she would be able to um, match with as far as made to moves. So this is her hair. It's like a dark chocolate, you know, brunette color. Um, it has like some raven in there mixed in somewhere. Uh, so I don't really like this hair color really um, for dark skin folks, but she does look really cute. I'm not gonna hate on her. She looks really, really cute. She has a good grade of hair, you know, some high quality nylon or almost, uh, maybe a saran. Um, I think it's nylon though. I could be wrong. The reason why I got this doll is because she is the exact face mold as my mini. Can't you tell? I call this the sunshine face mold. <laughs> of course you would know why. I don't think Mattel has given a name to this face mold. So I call it the sunshine face mold because her smile is just like my smile in real life. Um, that's the reason why I got the nickname sunshine. And actually people who never know me also called me sunshine. Um, hey, sunshine, what's going on? And I'm like, okay, like all my life I've heard that. So that's where the sunshine part of my um channel name and everything comes from because um some people call me sunshine and they said it was from my smile so this doll has a very beautiful smile just like my mini me and i'm gonna call this the sunshine mold <laughs> if it doesn't catch on it doesn't matter to me i'm gonna always refer to this as a sunshine mold when they make an official name or somebody else gives it a name then i will call it that name but for right now this is the sunshine face mold Now, the last thing I'm going to do here is compare these two girls so you can see how the face mold is exactly the same. You see? They have the same. This girl is actually prettier to me, this girl right here, than my uh, mini. And if she came in the same skin tone, I probably just would have switched over. But they both have beautiful smiles. And I love the eyebrows is very similar to mine's in real life. And this is just a beautiful face mold. I love it. I mean, it's not the most beautiful face mold. There are several face molds prettier than this one, but this one looks more like me facially in real life. So that's why I love this face mold. So I'm calling it the sunshine face mold and these two girls have it. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the end of my video thank you for dipping in the dolmas here with me today don't forget to like comment share and subscribe also hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more of my videos and don't forget to keep the sunshine in your life <laughs> I know I, I just I can't help from doing it it's something that I do now so I can't help it but um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week um, and just take care be blessed bye bye